Well, Indonesia's President Joko Widodo on Friday morning had a courtesy call from ASEAN Foreign Ministers and the ASEAN Secretary General marking the opening of the ASEAN Foreign Ministers meeting that is held in Jakarta, Indonesia, under the chairmanship, of course, of Indonesia. Foreign Ministers from the Association of Southeast Asian Nations are meeting in Indonesia on Friday and Saturday as the first ministerial meeting this year under Indonesia's chairmanship. In the meeting with ASEAN Foreign Ministers and ASEAN Secretary General at the Merdeka Palace in Jakarta, President Widodo reiterated that ASEAN must become an epicentrum of growth for or economic growth in the midst of a gloomy economic projection by maintaining peace and stability of the region. This is according to Indonesia's Foreign Minister Retno Marsudi after the meeting with the President. President Widodo also underlined that the regional bloc must uphold five points of consensus as a main mechanism in dealing with the Myanmar issue. Myanmar is an ASEAN member country who had agreed with ASEAN to implement a five-point consensus to solve its domestic political problems. The agreement was reached shortly after the country's military took over power from elected Democracy Party, led by Aung San Suu Kyi, who is now serving years of imprisonment under the military rulers. President Widodo warned that ASEAN should not become a proxy for any side, so the regional group must keep its centrality and unity as main priorities. In the courtesy call, the new ASEAN Secretary General Kao Kim Horn from Cambodia was introduced to the president. ASEAN's foreign minister's meeting this time is being held at the ASEAN Secretariat in Jakarta. Dalam pertemuan tadi, Bapak Presiden menekankan dua hal. Yang pertama adalah bahwa ASEAN tidak boleh menjadi proksi siapapun. Di sini Bapak Presiden menekankan pentingnya sentralitas dan kesatuan ASEAN yang perlu terus dijaga. Karena ini adalah modal utama ASEAN. Dan Bapak Presiden menekankan pentingnya penghormatan terhadap prinsip-prinsip demokrasi, hukum internasional, hak asasi manusia sesuai dengan apa yang ada di dalam piagam ASEAN. Bapak Presiden juga menekankan bahwa Five Point of Consensus akan tetap menjadi mekanisme utama ASEAN di dalam dalam mengaddress isu atau perkembangan di Myanmar. Itu yang pertama. Yang kedua, Bapak Presiden menekankan bahwa ASEAN harus menjadi epicentrum of growth atau pertumbuhan ekonomi di tengah gelapnya proyeksi ekonomi dunia saat ini. Namun Bapak Presiden kembali lagi mengingatkan bahwa kita akan dapat menjadikan ASEAN sebagai epicentrum of growth kalau kita mampu menjaga stabilitas perdamaian di